FIFA Ultimate Team is changing massively for FIFA 23. EA are yet again making it more difficult to make coins. They're removing the unassigned feature where you are able to invest in cars to boost your coin total. But foot trading has never relied upon that. We've always taught you guys how to trade with the market, continual trading throughout the day and not having to just rely on investments. So check us out, ready for FIFA 23. It's going to be an incredible year. Dan, the website owner alongside me, was number one in the world for FIFA, for FIFA transfer profit on Xbox. And at one point it sat with 400 million coins on his account. Check out the website. But let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. Foot Trading is undergoing our upgrade, ready for FIFA 23. It is going to be unreal. Make sure you check out the site. There's going to be season passes available, loads of awesome stuff as well as giveaways every month for those of you that are subscribed. But we need to talk about what has happened on FIFA in the last few days. And it, it really doesn't bode well for FIFA 23. We're not allowed to talk about the beta, so I'm not going to talk about the beta in this video. Um, otherwise, we get into trouble. But we saw the end of footies, and with footies came pre-season. Now, I don't mind the premise of pre-season. I think it's been quite flat, if I'm honest, but I get the idea behind it. it. It's cool. However, at the end of footies, we still had SBCs that were left. So I did quite a few of them, planned to do a few more. Then EA completely and utterly nerfed what was in packs. So they dropped everything that was in packs. Um, and now there's just 100 cards there. Chance they come back and bring more in on Friday, but we don't know. I really want to do Salah because I think he'd be a, I think he looks like one of the best cards in the game. So if you look at Salah, he requires two 92 rated squads. 91s for four times. 90s four times. 89, 88, 87. Then he requires a shapeshifter pack with minimum of five shapeshifters in him. Um, requires a team of season pack, minimum six players in there. Then he requires these three squads. So he's an expensive SBC. It says, for example, that he is 18 segments. It says he's 18 segments. But he isn't 18 segments because EA took out foot birthdays, fantasy foots, and foot captains from packs, okay? So normally it'd be 18 segments. What EA did was they took fantasy foots, foot captains, and foot birthdays out of packs completely. So you can no longer pack those cards. So if you go to the market, you will see, if I go to foot captains and search them, there are three Marcellos on the transfer market and that is it. That is all there is on the market for foot captains. So you have to complete other SBCs in order to get these players. Yesterday, EA dropped one way of getting them, which is the campaign bag player pick, which is winter wild cards, fantasy foot and foot birthdays. For this, you need an 88 rated squad. Okay, so you're going to need at least two more 88 rated squads to get foot birthdays and two more 88 rated squads to get fantasy foot cards, okay? Now, there's not a guarantee you're going to get them, but to be fair, one of four winter wild cards, fantasy foot or foot, play, uh, foot birthday players means you're probably going to hit one, one of the, each of the card types you need in each pick you do, all right? But that means that Salah actually requires, rather than two squads for these two, he actually requires four squads for these two. Okay, minimum four squads. And then, foot captains aren't in packs. And you can't get them from the campaign bag player pick. So you've got to get them from the footies player pick. So you earn one of four footies from batch one, two, or three. Okay? However, this is an 87 rated squad. And it includes every single player that we had during footies. There is no guarantee that you get a foot captain card in this. So at bare minimum... This foot captain squad, this, this one here, is going to need at least three of the footy player picks. So another three 87 rated squads at bare minimum. But there's no guarantee. Bear in mind the sheer amount that was in packs. There is no guarantee that you're going to get yourself foot captains from that. In fact, I found foot captains quite hard to pack. When I was doing this and doing Mendy and whatnot, I found foot captains one of the hardest card types to pack in them. And it does beg the question because... People are saying, oh, like, EA done it on purpose. They didn't do that on purpose. And this is what worries me because it happened quite often this year. EA decided for the next set of preseason what to put in packs. And the people that do the content completely forgot. They completely forgot that for the likes of Neymar, for the likes of Salah, you need specific card types. There is no way that was done intentionally. And that's why it's only just been rectified. That's why it's only just been rectified. Because if they'd have thought about it and you thought, right, we're going to do that. These, this player pick would have already been there. It wouldn't have taken until Wednesday for this player pick to be here. Now, I would just caution you, if you are completing Salah 
or Neymar and you haven't finished them yet, do not, whatever you do, do this player pick right now. Wait until tomorrow when we get Friday and they probably boost the amount of cards in packs and then do them if we don't get extra cards in packs. Because it would not surprise me if EA bring this SBC out, have you winch your club for the cards you need and then bang, Friday, add another load of players. They did this last year, Lewis reliably informed me. They did this last year where they added loads of cards at the end to um, to basically give you the best possible chance of uh, of packing stuff. But it is diabolical. And I don't want to be the party pooper in terms of the end of the game and whatnot. But we are at the end of the game and this should not have happened. Right now was the time to say to everybody, you can just go ahead and do every SBC that you want to do. Any SBC it is. You should be able to recraft it. The 85 times 10 for example, I've had no issue with that not being completely repeatable up until a certain point. But by now, this should be continually repeatable. There is no reason why it's not. We are a month out from the new game. This should just be in a situation where you can just keep rinsing it and rinsing it and rinsing it. And we're, we've been in dangerous territory all year this year because EA have got away with murder on multiple occasions just by spamming promos out. So it just makes you forget about how bad the last promo was. But it also worries me that if it's the same content team as last year, this stuff happened very, very often. Even down to things like the upgrade packs at the moment. If you look at the upgrade packs we've got in general, throughout footies, I was, I was a massive fan of footies because it was the 82 plus player pick or the 75 times 5. Now the 75 times 5 was sensational because you could do a lot of them for very little cost. You could do the silver method and do a lot of them. The 82 plus player pick, you can still do methods to get, to get the cards for it, but you need to rinse your club out quite, quite significantly for these because there's no real way at the moment to go and get yourself the rare golds other than putting those common golds into the gold upgrade here. So you can go and do, let's go, you go footies and whatnot. Uh, let's go live, sorry. And you go to the common gold upgrade. You can go and put in like bronzes into this to get common golds. And then the common golds go into the two rare upgrades. Um, but it ain't that great. It's sort of irrelevant and it sort of doesn't matter. And it, it frustrates me massively because... Right now is the time where you should be able to use all the cards you want to use. If I look at my squad, for example, my team is full of random stuff. I've got loads of bits and bobs in this team here. And then if you look at my club, it's stacked full of other random bits. That If I want to try and use them, I can use them, okay? That should be the standard for footies. I've always had a little issue with the idea that you could just go and get anything you really want at the end of the game. So if you've spent the whole year grinding, within three weeks someone's got the same team as you do... But I get the idea behind it. It's a bit of fun. Everyone can enjoy the game at the end. But this is really, really basic. And how nobody noticed that Salah and Neymar were going to be near impossible to complete, at that point, I will never know. I will never, ever know it. If you bought those cards at the time, if you went and bought loads of Foot Fantasies and stuff like that when they came out of packs, it was brilliant. But there was never, not, never a way that anyone was going to know, right, that's whatever is going to happen to Salah. So you could have been halfway through Salah could have been halfway through Salah and then had to not compete him. Or you could do what some people did, which is just buy the cards that were on the market at the time for extortionate prices. So you're going to be well annoyed. If you've gone out and thought, right, this is the only way I'm going to get Salah is by buying the foot birthdays or by buying the fantasy foot cards at inflated prices. And a day later or two days later, EA dropped that campaign bag player pick. This should have been dropped literally the moment they realised the error was there. That should have come out. There's no justifiable reason that that would have come out. That didn't come out, in fact. And I, I just don't get it. I don't understand it. And it worries me for FIFA 23. I am genuinely worried for FIFA 23 and what they're going to do with it. It's the last FIFA. There looks like there's some really awesome things. The Marvel crossover looks brilliant. It does look like there's going to be some really cool stuff that, that you can do. But if this is anything to go by, because preseason normally gives us a little taste of what it's going to be. Preview packs last year usually gives you a taste of what FIFA 23 is going to be like. If this is what it's going to be like, we've got a problem. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.